How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of semi-local brewery, time in the form of River Horse Brewing. It's their Mocha Lisa Porter. Um, this beer comes courtesy of my buddy Joe. He used to do NEPA beer reviews back in the day. He brought this up when I had Beer Tuber Palooza. He came up, uh, hung out, uh, brought some River Horse beers with him because he works at the brewery. And uh, and this one's been sitting in my fridge for about two weeks. And I was like, you know what? I'm kind of in the mood for a stout. So let's dive into this sucker. Actually, the guys from, um, I believe, it was uh, Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews, or Ryan from No Hype Beer Reviews. Thank you very much. And um, and Sean from NerdSense did a joint review, I believe, of this one uh, in this setting. When they're down here for the Beer Tube Blues. So go check that one out. This is a Mocha Lisa Porter. This is Imperial uh, Porter brewed with a cocoa and aged uh, Ugandan coffee beans. Weird script. I'll show it to you. Um, kind of hard to read. Not that I'm a wordsmith or what, what do they call that person that reads well. It's not me. I know that. You can see it's down here in like that kind of like elfish script. That's pretty much it. Label wise, yeah, it's all right. River Horses uh, labels really have never done anything much for me, but the beer, that's what matters. That looks like a porter. Pinky finger. Malted malt ball colored head, rich dark body, tones of brown and mahogany going on. We're off to a good start. Let's get a nose. That's nice, man, because it does smell like a little bit of a robust kind of porter. Like, because this is high in ABV, right? I think this is like nine and change. Nine on the nose. Um, so yeah, it's it, it, but it does smell like a porter. A little bit of bittering porter. A little bit of a kind of a hop, not hoppy, but a, a bittering like kind of a roasted malt, like residual bitterness kind of thing from roasted malt kind of bitterness. You get a little bit of that soft vanilla, kind of makes me think of like a milk chocolate. Not getting a ton of coffee on this. Um, you're talking about no date on a can, so I have no idea how old this is. But the nose really isn't getting me there as far as coffee goes. There's a little bit of coffee, but it's that kind of coffee you would get off a big, roasty stout or porter anyway without coffee being introduced to it. So let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, it's definitely a porter. And that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, stout and porter is very interchangeable beer nowadays a lot of people just kind of slap names on them i believe the biggest difference for me and what i kind of deem something being a stout and a porter is a lot comes down to mouthfeel um that fluffy creamy lightness that's porter all day that thick heavy four c's density kind of thing is what i think of when it comes to stouts. sure when you get in the lower abv traditional ones five and six percent it gets a little bit blurry down there but your higher abv i think that's kind of what really sets them apart for me and this is definitely a porter it's a super fluffy creamy like uber doppelbocky super fluffy creaminess on it which i really appreciate the vanilla is there it's not too big it accentuates that chocolate malt quite nice you get a nice chocolate in there but you get a little bit of that bittering from the roasted malt a little touch of coffee. Again, it's very close to being, okay, I'm getting coffee-like vibes off the malt, but that's the biggest thing for this to where it's just kind of missing for me. There's an added bitterness I'm talking about. That might be a bit of that coffee I play. So maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh on it. It's not necessarily beaming with coffee flavor, but that bitterness comes off as coffee. Um, it finishes a little bit thin, which more times than not, I want to kind of be like, okay, that kind of sucks, but it kind of works for this beer. So it drinks a little bit more like a cold cup of coffee, like a cold pressed kind of coffee. Even though you have that bitterness in there, you're getting this creamy fluffiness. So you drink it and you swallow it and it kind of finishes kind of quick. Um, so I kind of dig that on it. Um, dangerous beer. Does not drink anywhere close to the 9%. Um, there is a little evaporative alcohol, but it's not hot by any means. I like it. It's tasty. The more I think about it, it does remind me a little bit of kind of like iced coffee. It does. So maybe I'm being a little bit harsh on the coffee and the things. But I like the way the beer and the vanilla play in that additional um, kind of third level of coffee kind of work together. Because it, it, it it's not overpowering vanilla, but it's definitely there. It's like a cream and sugar thing going with coffee, which is how I drink my coffee. I know, blasphemy. But... It kind of works that way, and I kind of dig it. It's probably one of the better River Horse beers that I've had, to be perfectly honest with you. I haven't had a bunch of their darker beers, and I reviewed um, a bourbon barrel-aged beer by them the other day, and it was quite nice, too. So I'm on a roll here. That doesn't suck. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better coffee 
darker coffee stout porters that I've had as late. Uh, eking into the conversation. I like it. I dig it. It's kind of the coffee's not super expressive, so it's hard to kind of really put it even work anywhere close to the top. But I'm enjoying it enough not to leave it out of the conversation. Value and availability. It's River Horse. I think you can get this stuff pretty much wherever they're distributed, which I think is a decent footprint, to be perfectly honest with you. And leave you with, if you like what? Well, you like this. If you like coffee beers, but you want cream and two sugars coffee, which is how that comes off, as opposed to just black coffee or just a two by four to the face of coffee. It's nice. It's tasty. There's coffee vibes to it, but not ex super expressive coffee. And it's well made. And it's definitely got that super creamy mouthfeel I really like, especially at porters that are higher ABV. So if that's your jam, this will be your jam. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little river horse right now. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.